introducing the Silver Cross Ventura car seat. What you'll find is uniquely with Silver Cross, they do actually give you a hood and this front apron as well, which is most unusual for a first stage car seat. Your hood clips off quite easily. And what you'll find is you probably will want to do that because it is slightly stiffened in the front of the edge of the hood. And when you do come to fit your car seat round, sometimes it can squash that slightly and we don't want to spoil your product. You'll also find that you've got this front apron. Again, it's included in the price. Just Velcro's on the side here. And again, has this nice warm lining, very similar to the lining that we have in the head hugger and also your back support as well. Full five-point harness in here, very well padded. You've also got padded straps as well to keep the shoulders all nice and protected. Obviously, we do need to fit it rearward facing. So with all first-stage car seats, rearward facing. Weight-wise, as I say, it will go up to 10 kilos in weight. And that, at a guesstimate, is about nine months of age. Your seat belt goes through the blue routing, which we have on the car seat and that's just located on the side here. So I've locked my side into position and exactly the same goes through this side. Into your seat belt and locks off into position. Just make sure that that's secure and tighten slightly. The seat belt goes all the way around the back and what you will find is you have a little routing here, again, that's blue marked. You do not use both routes, you only use the one route and it's the one that's the opposite side to where your seat belt is or nearest to the door. To have the seat in the right position, you need to drop your handle down, pressing the two clips on the side here. And to tighten off the whole system, your hand goes on the top, pull on your seat belt, pull tightly into the seat. You will see where it does actually snug it in very, very well. And we have a very snug fit. It fits very, very well here with no movement whatsoever. You will, however, have a slight amount of movement at the head. That's perfectly acceptable. On a side impact, you would need to be able to move your head slightly. In reality, what would happen is the seatbelt would lock off completely and that child is going absolutely nowhere.